Hey Pisces, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for May 10th to the 11th of 2022. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Pisces. What's going on with Pisces in the next 48 hours? What does Pisces need to know for May 10th to the 11th of 2022 for Pisces? Let's see. We have Blackbird Omens. Swan, Fidelity, Ferret, Observant, and the overall energy is Wolf Communication. I'm sorry for laughing, but I feel like somebody's watching you to make sure you're being loyal. Like someone may have literally hired a spy, you know, not like a spy, spy, like, but you know what I'm talking about? Like, what is it? Private investigators to catch you cheating, to get evidence, to take pictures of you out while you're out. I feel like your omen will literally be a black bird. Like, um, it, you could see a literal black swan or a black bird of any kind. And that'll show you, like, someone's being, someone's watching you to see if you're loyal to them. With the overall energy being communication, someone is communicating with you. So the person that you're in communication with, it's like, while they're on the phone with you, at the same time, they have a spy watching you. All right, so let's get into the tarot and get more on this. For Pisces, next for you guys, for Pisces. For some of you, I didn't want to say this, but you may have your phone tapped. Like someone is that pressed to see if you're cheating. May 10th to the 11th of 2022 for Sagittarius. I mean, ooh, sorry, for Pisces. May 10th to the 11th of 2022 for Pisces. May 10th to the 11th of 2022 for Pisces. All right, had to give y'all some extra shuffles. Because I messed up a little bit. All right, we have Six of Pentacles. Yeah, Fairness equal give and take. Page of Swords with Fidelity and Ace of Pentacles. They're going to find out, obviously, that you're being loyal and faithful. And they're going to give you some, like, big payout. They're also going to, like, want to start over fresh. Because I feel like you're going to catch them and call it out or they're just gonna they're gonna tell you and they're gonna apologize they want a fresh start they're gonna offer you a peace offering ace of pentacles a new stable beginning in abundance also they're observing your loyalty to see if you're loyal to the company because this could be work or love or family someone here wants to see if you're loyal to them it could be friends whatever someone's testing your loyalty and you're gonna get a big payout for this they're gonna see that you are fair and they're gonna feel guilty or bad for like spying on you and not being fair to you and so they're going to apologize and they're going to want a fresh start. Overall energy is the king of wands. So it could be a Sagittarius. It could be any fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I accidentally said Sagittarius earlier. I'm sorry. <laughs> Clarify this for Pisces. Clarify this message for Pisces. Clarify this message for Pisces. And you could have um, a heavy fire placement as well. Put it where it goes for you. Clarifying the Six of Pentacles is the Devil Capricorn. I got this in the exact, I got this card in the exact same spot for the Sagittarius reading. We have the Emperor Aries. Okay, so this could be a boss, a CEO, someone who's used to being in control and in charge. A Capricorn or Aries or a boss, CEO, manager, matriarch of the family. Someone who's used to being super masculine and in control and in charge. This person also has a lot of fears or insecurities surrounding loyalty. Because maybe this person either they own a business or have a lot of money or have a lot of assets. They're used to either people screwing them over or um, they just they're just paranoid. This person wants to know if you're loyal to them. If you'll keep their secrets or be loyal to them. So I feel like this person's testing you. Or yeah, I just feel like it's coming out of fear with that devil card. It's giving me fears. Uh yeah, it's giving me a lot of fear. I feel like this person it's like fear is a control thing. Cause sometimes we think of control as someone who's, you know, abusive. But I'm not getting that this person is abusive at all. I just feel like this person's insecure. In, in their controlling factor is checking and making sure that everyone's being loyal to them, which is not healthy, but it's not like, you know, abuse. There's nothing to be worried about. Clarifying the page of swords is the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. 
I feel like this is a something that this person may do often in the past they've done it and i feel like in the past they've caught people doing this to them they've caught people cheating or lying on them or being unfaithful in some way shape or form that's why they have this habitual thing and i feel like they've caught multiple people doing this or it's happened to them multiple times and that's why they do this but it's like something about you because i feel like you're extremely loyal they they find out that you're like you're not like the rest of them and so that changes their whole perspective their whole way yeah, five of swords with the page of swords. Wow. I feel like this person, I don't think they're going to say anything negative to you directly, but I feel like this person is judging you. Yeah, this person with, yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, karmically, they're used to people. Yeah, they're uh, clarifying the Ace of Pentacles is the Three Cups, though. Yeah, you're going to reunite with this person and celebrate, but I feel like this person... Again, I don't think they're saying anything messed up to you. So with that five of swords and the page of swords, I feel like this person is thinking the worst. They may, yeah, four cups. You may not be as interested once you find out that they're um spying on you. They don't trust you. Over on the page of swords. Again, spying. Because what I'm getting here with that five of swords, the five of swords is usually someone who tries to tear someone down verbally. But I don't see this person saying anything to you. I feel like in their head, they're thinking that way. Or this person is very jaded because of the things that have been done to them. And that's no excuse. I'm not giving them any type of excuse. And I don't blame you if you're deciding not to be interested in them. If you find out like this person, especially if they had your phone tapped, that's too far. Someone with insecurities that deep is not going to just go away overnight. But I do feel like you open this person's eyes once they like see that you are loyal because they're going to be watching you and they're, I feel like they're going to try to set up something where a rich or wealthy person comes up to you and tries to ask you out and you're not interested or something like that. You don't take the bait. And I don't think it's on purpose like you know or anything. It's just like you're just not interested. You're just a loyal person or you're not in it for the money or the status or attention or whatever. But yeah, I feel like this person has done this multiple times with other people. I feel like this person has also been watching you for a while, like a private investigator. And I, with that page of swords and that five of swords, I, with that five of swords, though, I feel like this person just thinks the worst. I feel like this... I, again, I'm not getting that they're saying anything nasty to you, but I feel like this person says nasty things about relationships or in the past. They're so used to being like talked down on or down to or talking down to the person that they're with because they find out this person is unfaithful. I just feel like with that five of swords and that page of swords, this person could be accusing you of cheating or has been accused. This person is saying some nasty things about you, but they're not saying it to you. They're thinking it or saying it to themselves. Or this is something they've done in the past. Because I feel like this person has either accused you in the past. And I just feel like this person finds out that you're loyal. Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune. This person also is triggered. They have PTSD from being cheated on horribly. Maybe this person was married to someone for years. And like you do something similar to the last person, they're triggered and they start like having this crazy outburst on you. Cause I see it regardless, I don't think this person is cursing you out or anything. Cause I feel like this person sees you very different from the rest of them. And this person realizes that you're loyal. And I feel like it changes that. This person's either used to being talked down on. Cause I feel like this person is used to toxic relationships, but they don't do that to you. They don't say these things to you, but they're used to it. So they're prepared for it or ready for it. I feel like this person may have overheard other people talking badly to them or talking down about them. And they're expecting you to do it and you don't. I feel like this person, you treat them well, so they treat you well. And if they would try to do anything, it would backfire on them. But I don't see them doing that. I just feel like you open this person's eyes. And I feel like that person, if you're not in uh, communication with them now, you're going to hear from them very soon. And they're going to apologize to you and make you an offering. And it's up to you whether you want to take them back or not. I feel like you're not interested anymore. But this person is very interested in trying again with you. 
All right, I'm gonna leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below, as well as my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing. Her information is in the description box below as well. Her Etsy link, I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.